Teachers in Baltimore County are concerned about the county's plan to bring back staff and students to school in person. Teachers and staff members at the county's four special needs schools would be the first to go back. WMAR 2 News' Megan Knight is live this morning outside one of those schools, the Ridge Ruxton School in Towson. So Megan, what are their concerns? Well, Ashley, they tell us that many of the students who go to these special needs schools, which are referred to as separate day schools, uh, have underlying medical conditions that would make them much more susceptible to contracting illnesses like COVID-19. Now, Ridge Ruxton here behind me is one of those four separate day schools in Baltimore County that is set to reopen in the beginning of November. Those other three schools being Maiden Choice, Battle Monument, and White Oak Schools, all of which serve kids from ages 3 to 21 who have disabilities. Now, the Baltimore County Public School Superintendent announced last week a revised plan in getting teachers and students back inside classrooms. Teachers at these separate day schools are scheduled to return to class beginning on November 2nd, and then students would follow by coming in on November 16th. And there's still no set timeline yet for all other teachers and students in the county. Kelly Yalfani is a music teacher here at Ridge Ruxton. She says she's concerned they're not going to be able to follow CDC guidelines, thus putting themselves and the students at risk for contracting COVID-19 or even other illnesses. Some students' IEP says that an adult has to be within arm's reach at all times. We don't social distance from our students because some don't physically have the ability to pick things up. This is a very risky position to put a staff member in when there is a global worldwide pandemic. And we did reach out to the school district for comment about this. They said, quote, we are going to continue having dialogue with staff, families and our union representatives as we carefully plan for a safe return of small groups. We also did reach out to the head of the Baltimore County Teachers Union, Cindy Sexton. She says she's been getting a lot of emails about this. Uh, teachers both for and against this plan to get back into schools. And she told us that she thinks that it should be an option for teachers on whether they do want to come back to the classroom or if they want to continue with virtual learning. We're live in Towson. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News. Megan.